Hi everybody, it's LaDonna with the Painted Ivy. Okay, after our little technical difficulty, we are back. So we're going to attempt this once more. So when you come in, type in hashtag replay. Let me um, know you're here. If you see the red line at the top of your screen, you know I am live. And um, we will, as soon as I set up my comments, we will get started so that we can okay let me turn my volume okay, off little technical difficulty. We are all right so i hope you guys are having a good time we're going to start once again so let's um lay down our transfer when you come in say hi let me know you're here and if you've never been here before, these are silk screen transfers that are reusable. I've used this one a couple of times already. And we're going to, there, it's all straight. We're going to rub it down with a larger trans with a larger squeegee so that I can make sure I have all the air bubbles out. Just like this. I don't want any air bubbles in it. Okay. There. Now we're going to get started. So I'm gonna lay down some white on the top. It goes on really easy. When the paste is at a sour cream consistency, you know you have the right consistency to do this, and it just makes a flawless design. Let's lift this up and I wanna show you. Look how beautiful. Isn't that perfect? I'm gonna hit it with a blow dryer. In that way, we can continue. It dries pretty quick. Then I'm gonna lay this back down very carefully. To get the pumpkin done. All right. Now we'll work on the next color. And we're going to put um, pumpkin pie on the word pumpkin at the top. And I'm only going to bring it down about halfway. And then we're going to put the red orange on the bottom. And we're going to put that about almost touching the pumpkin color so we could blend it together. Gonna get really close to it, but not exactly on top of it. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of water on our finger and we're just going to blend it together. All right. Wipe my finger off and let's peel this up. Look how pretty the ombre looks. Love that. Um, 
Hi, Suzanne. Okay, so now I'm going to lay this back down, and I'm going to you know, turn my volume off. So I'm going to lay this back down, and I'm just going to do the spice, and I'm going to do the spice in all one color. So let me push my transfer. I just want to make sure I've got all the air bubbles out right here. Okay, I'm going to just kind of roll that right there. So we're going to do this in one color, but I'm going to do this, this, and this here before we move on to another section. So let's do this in white real quick. And let's do this in white over here where the smoke's coming off the coffee cup. And then we're going to do the pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice. I don't particularly like pumpkin, but I like the color. You know, when I'm doing holiday stuff, I like the color, but I don't like the pumpkin, so. But this color, it, it's just a really pretty, makes you feel festive. Okay. So we're going to peel that up really easy. Look how beautiful. I'm just going to lay this right here while we dry it. Hi, Connie. Welcome to the Painted Ivy. Making a pumpkin spice sign for the holidays. Okay, I'm just going to lay this down just enough to get all of my next line down. This one, we're going to do teal on the cup and the and sign. And everything here, we're going to do white. So, let's... I'm going to put the white down first because it's a little bigger. I want the color to kind of pop. And I have to kind of be a little careful around my little sign up there because I have the little and sign that I don't necessarily want to cover. We're just going to cover all of that. Okay, then we're going to get our teal. And I've already stirred these before I came live because I didn't want to spend a lot of time stirring paste. All right, let's peel this up. I'm just gonna blow it dry here. I want to wipe that off some. I can, I've used this transfer so many times that I can actually, it doesn't have as much stickiness to it as it used to, so I can roll it and it doesn't hurt. But I can't do all my transfers like that.
going to do the lasso section down here. Let's do the top in white because the G hangs down and then we'll do the bottom in um, pumpkin to finish it off. That way we don't have to worry. And I'll show you when we're done with the design why I decided to not do this in pumpkin. I know with my hand here, you probably can't see what I'm doing over here, and I'm terribly sorry. I'm going to do a little ombre. Oh, thanks, Suzanne. We're going to see if the ombre worked because I may have had just a little too much water on it. Nope, it worked. Okay, so. We have a little smudge there, and this is how you clean it up. I'm going to take a Clorox wipe, or I could just use a Q-tip, but I don't have any handy. I'm going to put it on the end of my little squeegee. I'm just going to wipe it up. It's water soluble. It'll clean up really, really easy. I don't want to touch anything else except the part I want to erase, so to speak. Okay. I thank you for coming and watching my live. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.